Hey, hi, hello everyone. I am Naval Yamal. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Data Master. In this video, we are going to see how you can register for the DataBricks certification exam. You can just come to the Google and type DataBricks certification, and you can see DataBricks provides you accreditations. So these are free of cost. You can just watch the recordings of the DataBricks popular, and then you will get this accreditations. So apart from this accreditations databricks provides you certifications also so let me explain you how you can register it for the certification so when it comes to databricks certification they offer varieties of domains starting with data analytics data engineering ml generative ai and some additional certifications so you can redirect to any of this certification any of this domain and you can click on this in this video i'm going to explain you how you can navigate towards the databricks how you can register to the databricks certification via using this generative ai tab so i'll just click on this generative ai and you can just scroll down and if you just look at the last option you have a registration so you get this option in all the other features also like if you are going and booking for the Databricks Data Engineering Associate or Professional or Data Analytics or Machine Learning, you will get this registration tab. You can just click on this exam delivery platform. So it will redirect you to this website called webassessors.com slash Databricks. So here you need to create an account. If you have an account, you can log in here. If you do not have, you can create an account by just clicking on this. So you can use your personal email address or you can use your company's email address to register it once you have registered it you can start logging in so i have already saved my password here i'll just log in i'll use my password i'll just click on login and the moment you click on login it will take you to the web assessor login page where you will find company details receipts register for an exam and your assessments so if you have previously given any of your exams and you can find all your assessments here and the receipts you have taken a registered for a exam and you can find those receipts here now let me explain you how you can register for an exam you can just click on this register for an exam and the moment you click on it it will take you to the new page where you will have all the databricks courses so yeah now databricks has recently launched this we can give an exam in different languages also now let me choose english and now you can see they have varieties of different courses here like databricks certified data analyst associate databricks certified data engineering uh, sorry generative ai engineer associate data engineering associate data professional associate machine learning machine learning professional and apache pi spark and so on okay you can see the cost also all the exams cost is around 200 dollars and it's an online proctored exam okay so suppose i want to book an exam called databricks certified analyst so i'll just click on continue i cannot see an option for the data engineering sorry i cannot see an option for the generative ai here because recently i have given an exam so i cannot see that here i'll just click on data analyst i'll just click on continue and the moment i click on continue it will take me to the new page you the moment you click on it it will take you to this page where you can choose your exam date and time so many participants get confused here and they feel which time zone they have selected but now this is a new framework or new ui where you can easily figure out on which time zone you are in so in my case i it's already detected like asia calcutta that is in india time so if you are in different time zone you can choose it from here you can just click on change your time zone from here okay and after you make sure that you are on the right time zone you can come and select the date and then the time now for example i want to choose a particular date for example 16th of october the moment you click on 16th of october it will show you the different times here early morning morning afternoon and evening so depending upon your availability and comfortable you can just select the time zone for example if i choose morning and you get all the slots available so i'll just choose any random timing here so i request you to please decide select your time zone and the date and time 
whichever you are comfortable with and then click on schedule okay? and you need to just agree the terms and conditions if you have some time you can just read out this and you can just click on proceed and the moment you click on proceed it will take you to the shopping cart where you have to do a payment so if you have any vouchers you can give a voucher in the payment three step number three you can see it is taking 200 dollars with a tax of 36 dollars that is 18 percent and then you can click on proceed to payment the moment you click on proceed to payment here you can add a coupon if you have any voucher or coupon you can add it here and you can fulfill all your credit card details and click on submit an order so your exam will be booked at that particular date and time so you have you'll get a mail on that email address that you have booked your slot and so on if you want to reschedule it you have to do it way 72 hours before so make sure that you are doing a slot on a correct date and time and you can start your exam 15 minutes before please do a quick system checkup like whatever the requirements are they don't allow you to use any uh, like any tabs open you just need to close all the tabs and they'll ask you to install one uh, browser that from where you can start giving an exam so uh, that becomes easy to start your exam okay so here you fill all the details and you can submit an order and it will be booked i'm not going to do this this is just to show you how you can register for your databricks exam okay? so that's all for this video thank you guys i hope you enjoyed it thank you see you bye bye